Hotspot with Loveth. Nina Moore had always been ambitious. Her career in marketing had taken her to the pinnacle of success at just 29. Her team at Straightage Innovations referred to her as the visionary, a title she wore proudly. But her seemingly perfect world shattered when an anonymous tip reached her boss accusing her of corporate espionage. Nina was blindsided when confronted. The evidence, though fabricated, was airtight, manipulated emails, altered documents, and a detailed account of her supposed wrongdoings. Her boss, Mr. Jenkins, reluctantly let her go just to save the company's reputation. She knew exactly who had orchestrated her downfall, Ethan Bryce, her charming yet manipulative ex-boyfriend. Their relationship had ended months earlier when Nina uncovered his infidelity. Ethan hadn't taken the breakup well and had vowed, in a fit of rage, to make her pay for what he called her betrayal. The days following her dismissal were a haze of despair. Nina, once confident and vibrant, became a shadow of herself. She withdrew from friends and family, spending her days applying for jobs and drowning in rejection. It was during one of these low days that she bumped into Professor Malcolm at a cafe near her old office. Malcolm was an esteemed marketing strategist and Ethan's former mentor during university. Nina Moore, Malcolm said warmly, recognizing her. You look like you've seen better days. Nina forced a smile, embarrassed by her disheveled appearance. Life's been, complicated, she replied vaguely. Over coffee, she poured out her story. Malcolm listened intently, his sharp blue eyes narrowing at the mention of Ethan's name. That boy always had a dangerous streak, Malcolm muttered. But I had no idea he could stoop this low. To Nina's surprise, Malcolm offered to help. You're talented, Nina. I've seen your work, and I know your reputation was impeccable before this. Let's rebuild. You don't have to fight this alone. Nina was hesitant to accept Malcolm's help but realized she couldn't recover on her own. He began by helping her clear her name. They hired a forensic IT expert who uncovered traces of the tampered files and traced them back to Ethan. Armed with this evidence, they filed a defamation lawsuit. Meanwhile, Malcolm introduced Nina to his network, recommending her for freelance projects. These gigs were small but gave her the confidence to work again. Slowly, her spark returned. I'm not just helping you out of pity, Malcolm said one evening after a successful pitch to a tech startup. You have something special, Nina. You see the big picture and execute it flawlessly. That's rare. As Nina gained momentum, Ethan caught wind of her resurgence. He began spreading rumors that Malcolm was funding her projects because of a romantic relationship. When Nina confronted Malcolm about it, he laughed. Let him talk, he said. We know the truth. Keep your eyes on the goal. Six months later, Nina was no longer the broken woman Ethan had left behind. She had secured a contract with Apex Dynamics, a major player in the tech industry. The account was worth millions, and her success was celebrated in marketing circles. Ethan, desperate to reclaim control, tried to sabotage her once again. This time, he attempted to leak confidential data from Apex, framing Nina as the source. However, Nina had learned from her past mistakes. With Malcolm's guidance, she preemptively secured her systems and informed Apex's legal team of the potential threat. Ethan was caught red-handed, and his reputation was destroyed. With Ethan out of the picture, Nina focused on her work. Malcolm remained a steadfast ally, but their relationship evolved into a genuine friendship. He became a mentor in the truest sense, pushing her to dream bigger. And reminding her of her worth. One evening, as they celebrated the launch of a successful campaign, Malcolm raised a toast. To Nina Moore, the phoenix who rose from the ashes. Here's to more victories ahead. Nina smiled, her eyes shimmering with gratitude. And to Malcolm Hayes, the man who reminded me that even in ruin, there's always the possibility of restoration. As she looked around the room filled with colleagues and friends, Nina realized her ordeal had taught her resilience. Ethan had tried to ruin her, but she had emerged stronger, wiser, and more determined than ever. Her story wasn't just one of survival, it was a testament to the power of support, the value of perseverance, and the belief that even in the darkest times, light can break through.